What's going on, guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital. We're here with Joseph Nakla, CEO of Tribe Property Technologies. Nice to have you on today. Joseph, how are you doing? I'm great. Thanks to, to be with you, Aaron. Yeah, for sure. I'm excited to talk about this company. So, you know, can you start by giving us a brief introduction to Tribe Property Technologies, along with telling us a bit more about the company and what you guys do? Yeah, absolutely. We're a prop tech company, property technology company, really focused on building software solutions and delivering actual full service uh, within residential property management here in Canada. So most people would recognize that these big towers, just like the one you're, you're, you're currently in, uh, are really designed to be condo communities. But there is actually a need for property uh, management companies to come in and actually guide the operations of these communities. So you can do that traditionally, or you can use that with a company like us, where we actually are tech back services and we're delivering all of our services on our platform. Yeah, very essential service. Um, so, you know, Tribe Property Technologies recently announced a partnership with Umbra City, bringing Tribe Communities on demand umbrella service across the lower mainland. Uh, can you tell us a little bit more about that? I think that's one of your most recent press releases, right? It is correct. So uh, just generally, we we uh, manage uh, almost 40,000 homes in Canada, and uh, we have a, a physical presence in seven different markets. And one of those markets is, you know, we actually have three markets here, or three offices here in British Columbia. And uh, now that you are living in British Columbia, you, mm. you know how often it rains. So yeah, uh, yeah. believe it or not, we've actually found an amazing little startup that has actually built a network of umbrellas uh, where you can actually put a kiosk at a location and uh, using your geolocation from an app, you can actually identify where you can go grab an umbrella or actually place the umbrella once you're, you're completely done with it. And it's actually a free service to our homeowners and our tenants that live in our, our community. So that was the, the most recent uh, partnership that we, we've announced, along obviously with, with a large number of other partnerships that we brought in. Really what we do, Aaron, is, is we really focused, since we have a direct relationship with the homeowners in these condos and the tenants that live in these apartments, we really focus on curating services that make sense for them to take advantage of and can also leverage the group buying power that we've been able to create by growing uh, our size and our footprint. Yeah, no, I think that that's really important. So there's clearly lots of inefficiencies in the property management business, many of which I've personally experienced living in not just this condo, but other condos in the past. Can you tell us more about Tribe and how you aim to resolve these problems in the market? Yeah, absolutely. It's no surprise to, to your viewers that, um, you know, more and more of us are living in these bigger communities and these communities are not getting any uh, uh, smaller or less sophisticated. They're actually uh, starting to use a lot more technology. The amenities in these communities are very sophisticated. Uh, the laws and the bylaws that govern these communities are also changing and becoming more complex. So, you know, when you look at it from A to Z, you start wondering with the diverse stakeholder groups. I mean, there's people that rent in these communities, people that buy in these communities. There is the people that work in the building. In some cases, this might might even be retail downstairs. Um, and, and in some cases, the might be office space within the uh, residential community as well. We see those in mixed mm -hmm. uses. So this complexity really lends itself to a lot of uh, waste, a lot of uh, uh, difficulties with workflows. Uh, how do you go about getting a FOB? How do you connect with somebody to get some documentation? How historical documents that may have occurred or financials that occurred four or five years ago? What are the warranty terms on every single item in the building? So you get the complexity there. So what we try to do is we start with digitizing the community. We think all the homes and, and the building and the building assets and the amenities and the laws and the bylaws and the book and rules uh, and the payments should all be digitized. Once you've done that, you start also providing the tenants and the homeowners and the residents of the building with their own self-service tools that they can actually get information themselves with ease. And we all live on our phones now, as you know. So why do we need to be, you know, uh, with an Uber or skip the dishes from our phone with ease? But when it comes to doing something within our condo, we have to fax people, call people, write checks and go back to 1988. So what mm -hmm. we try to do is, is really uh, modernize and bring these tools and features to the fingertips of our residents and uh, and obviously we have the back office to support that 
Yeah, exactly. About the checks, you know, I can directly relate to that. My last condo, I had to write a check to book the elevator and I didn't have checks and I was moving that day. It was a disaster. So like, uh, the, that's just a perfect example of um, one situation. But can you tell us a little bit more about Tribe Tech when it comes to your platform and revenue growth? Absolutely. So what we've done is uh, we have two big divisions in terms of we're one-stop shop in terms of service delivery, and we work in two big areas. One big area is working directly with uh, real estate developers building Sorry, condos. Sorry, my Apple Watch here. Uh, <laughs> working directly with uh, with uh, developers building brand new construction. So now you've seen the skyline changes here in Vancouver, in Toronto, and in in the rest of the country. So we actually are brought into these conversations with the developers to help them with the design of these communities, the amenities, based on the data we have. Plus, also ensure that the buildings can be, you know, can be uh, operating efficiently and, and in a sustainable way. So we work directly with developers and that's a big area of growth of ours as more and more construction occurs around us. Uh, we also work directly with condo corporations or condos that are operating by traditional property management companies with the condo board moves our way and comes to our, our side. Uh, and then we also have a, one of Canada's uh, largest uh, uh, team that's supporting uh, uh, what we call institutional rental, which is uh, basically REITs with big mm -hmm. apartment buildings that are seeking third party management with a long list of features that we've built in our technology that can actually support that type of need in terms of finding the tenants and managing the building properly. So our technology kind of morphs from the moment uh, in a brand new construction and lives with the developer before they even break ground all the way to supporting a 40 or a 50 year old apartment building or a condo building. Yeah, that's amazing growth for the platform. So, you know, what are some of the major catalysts that investors or prospective shareholders should be looking out for in the near term? Well, we're, we're, we're very proud of the fact that we've been able to uh, sustain tremendous hyper growth. Uh, our last quarter, we've announced 250% growth year over year and top line revenue in addition to improvement of 340 percent of our gross margins which kind of speaks to uh, the company operating more efficiently more and more uh, as we get more mature um, I think what the what the shareholders and the street can be expecting from us is constant growth we we've been able to uh, illustrate that we can be a very acquisitive company we've made eight acquisitions to date and we have the data to support that our model of buying traditional property management companies and converting them to or modernizing the service delivery model to utilize our technology has been really, really good. Plus, you're going to see a lot more of these types of, uh, where we started the conversation, these types of partnerships, mm -hmm. where we're going to continue to find best breeds, insurance providers, uh, lenders, uh, technology partners, EV partners to bring into our uh, buildings so we can actually allow our homeowners to take advantage of the group buying power that we created. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting market with lots of opportunity for you guys. So that should be exciting. Um, so, you know, what's the one thing you're most excited about when it comes to Tribe Tech this year? Well, I, I, you know, we've obviously had a, a large round that we closed in January of this year. It was led by round 13. We set out to go uh, private placement, raise $15 million, and we were very fortunate to oversubscribe it to 21 million, bring in some of the country's largest institutional funds into this round. So we're very proud of that. What I'm excited specifically with that kind of capital behind us is our ability to go out there and really create a really, really interesting, first of, of its kind, two-way marketplace to connect our homeowners with really interesting local service providers. You know, think about all these local businesses that occur in these neighborhoods. They look around and they see all these big buildings and they don't really have a way of connecting directly mm. with these homeowners. And you're, you just moved into the neighborhood that you're in. Imagine <laughs> how cool would it be if you actually could actually get a direct connectivity within these bit local businesses and actually receive uh, feedback from your neighbors in the building about how good or maybe less than good a service they offer. So we're going to be investing heavily in that area this year. Oh, that sounds awesome. So where's the best place for investors to find out more information about the company? Our website, uh, www.tribetech.com uh, is a great place to go there. And you can uh, certainly find all of our most recent financials and presentations. Awesome, Joseph. Well, thank you so much for all the info. Look forward to covering the story and best of luck with everything.
Thank you so much. Pleasure being with you. If you like these videos, kindly hit that subscribe button and the bell for notifications. Drop us a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. And finally, always remember Departures Capital is for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research, you've done your thorough due diligence, and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. Furthermore, this video may or may not have been sponsored by the companies that we've profiled within this video, and we may or may not own shares of any of the profiled companies in this video. If you want to know the full disclosure details, check the description down below along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. Thanks so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thank <laughs> you.